Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's came Master here, obviously. No one there. My room's obviously a mess. I don't really give a shit. Today, I'll do an interview of this. Pittman, Kronos. Or, Kronos by Pittman, whatever you want to say. I don't really give a shit. Um, so, I'll just go from what I like about it, then dislikes. First off, stock. I actually do like the stock. I know people are like, well, speedball is better. Whatever. I won't disagree with you. I wanted to buy a Chaos. We bought it. Two days later, we're like, fuck this shit. We're getting rid of it. It sucked. I'll probably do a video all about that. But this gun, that's when I had that. Um, well, because first off, it, yeah, never mind. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I feel like shooting up right now. Um, the Kronos is right. simplistic but very complicated at the same time. If you're getting to it, everything is complicated at that point. Um, pros, people that do this for like five, six years, you probably think like this is the most basic gun in the world. I don't know. First going on, but can't compare it to anything. Unless my brother bought the same exact gun as this. Same with my dad. Only difference is we've seen it at the field. Um, but in the stock though, really helps with accuracy. Like, I mean, I'm kind of the far away, like back support stuff like that. So being able to nail the shots, but not be like 50 feet away from them, really does help. Um, also, rails. For those of you like me that does kind of airsoft and paintball, which both I'm just getting into, it's kind of weird, but um, if you buy an airsoft site, in theory, you should be able to put it on this. Kronos. Because you have rail there, rail there, rail like right there. Obviously, the foregrip's on a rail. Then, just use the basic iron sights. I'll line those things up for you guys. Something like that, yeah. But if you just use the basic iron sights, you got, you know, like M4, M16, rectangle, looking stuff. Um, not the best, obviously. You buy this, the basic version, with oh, this mock suppressor, it just doesn't do anything. Which, if you buy a scope, which I'm probably going to buy a red dot, probably walk I'll buy around go like this, with red dot to this. Take this off, I want the painting has to get back on. And you take this off. Which is pretty much leaves it with, pretty much leaves it with that, I'm a, this, yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, which that version is 100 bucks off Amazon. First version is 110 to 150, depending on what you want. I bought the 110. All I came with with was damn fucking mock suppressor. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck it. Got pretty much this. I better hold the mock suppressor because I can't get the work. To Fucking day. Thank you. Fuck you, suppressor. Um, but it just came with this minus the hopper. I bought the hopper separately and it's grab fed, I know, but with something like this with single trigger, you're not gonna be have many problems with grab fed. With Chronos or Chaos, stuff like that. Chronos, what the fuck? Uh where there's like double trigger stuff, you, you know what I mean. You'll probably should buy an electric hopper. Unless I have ball breaks and I'm shooting too fast, which I highly doubt. Um, I won't buy an electric pretty much. Only problem I have with this thing is the fact that I kind of fucked up the lid. So, yeah, I'd like push it up. Falls back down freaking easily. So, 
Also, gas your grip. Um, no biggie. But to me, one thing I was so 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 worried about the chaos was like bumping it on a corner, just dinging on something, fucking up the gas for grip, and either it doesn't shoot when I need it to shoot, or it tries to shoot and blows up on me. Second option is probably worse, but I mean that would be bad. Um, dislikes about this. <sighs> With CO two, which I was one thing I guess I've been using right now. The our quota is really, really, really affects the accuracy, the distance, everything like that. Cause. Well, yesterday was the first time I played with this gun, and we were using CO2, it got fucking cold. It was around 40 degrees, maybe. Colorado, Colorado, where I live, that's not that bad, but that's still pretty cold. And it was raining, so it was pretty damn cold. Of course, we had the most annoying weather ever. Because, you know, we'd play around and be really nice, really hot out, really nice out. We'd play around and be fucking hot, like 80 degrees, 80, 90 even. Probably, I don't, I don't know. Uh, probably not, probably exaggerating, but uh, fuck it. Um, then we'd play around when it was like 40 degrees. And it was pouring rain. Like, I mean, it went from nice out to just pouring rain and the rest thinking about closing the place. At around four minutes. That was a pain in the ass. And this thing during that those four, you know, when those freaking gold was shooting about half the distance when it was nice out. Half is a pretty big change. Um yeah. I mean, I guess it's a starting gun, it's pretty cheap, you know, hundred bucks, hundred and ten. You see guns like a die, you know what I mean? Uh, I fuck it, I don't know what it is. Why would I remember when I think about it? I don't have the money for it. Which, but that's like 1200 bucks. Yeah, that's not my price range. No. Not even close. In this 100 bucks, I had like 130 in my bank account, so I bought this with the opera. Yeah. And it serves me well. Uh, first time I played it, obviously, but think stays nice out it'll be fine plus it looks a little bit realistic i guess uh if you ignore the hopper you know a little bit realistic and rip but it looks a little realistic i guess kind of but also the fact that ah let's get this there to get it to fire you get to pull the bolt back right there that's the bolt that little and, you know, it's very simplistic, but I actually really like that fact. I mean, kind of like a built-in safety, you can't just go out and fire it off. Because when, once you get the gas out, it... Safety's on, oh, fuck. I mean, the bolt, it's obviously blowback. The bolt, bolt blows back, but that's like every paintball gun. So, yeah, I guess, I'm actually thinking about a complaint, I, I don't know what it is, it's really fucking annoying, uh, plus, I mean, the hopper is kind of my fault, because I can't say, ah, it's the gun, no, it's my fault, I dismantled it and fucked up, probably, I guess the barrel, um, when you put in the barrel, every time you put it in, it, scars it pretty much uh because it like worries on the paint i'm not sure my brother's gun you know the where it actually seals into the gun is like all the paint wash i've seen pretty sure surprised some divots in the steel i think it's steel i don't fucking know what it's made out of i don't really care probably aluminum honestly um also last complaint this assembly 
if you are a pro, you're probably like, okay, this is the easiest assembly I've ever. And you know what? This is not that hard at all. You know, you, you could probably do it in like 15 minutes. Me and my brother and my dad, we just got into this. We can't do that in 15 minutes. It took us like, oh, my brother, being a dumbass, got shot down the barrel. I plug my computer in because I'm fucking stupid. Uh, pyong, aha. Got shot down the barrel somehow. I have no idea. Look at that. That's the size of a paintball. The paintball was perfectly aimed at him. I don't know if that's bad luck or stupidity. I really can't tell. Uh, but we cleaned out the entire thing. It took us around an hour and a half. And it scared the shit out of us. Because, well, the thing is that the gas valve thing, because the gas grip being that the chaos has the gra chaos is kind of the same system, but where it's located is different. And that's really weird. Uh, the chaos, it goes from a little port like this. It's pretty much the same port. It's like more flush. No, that, uh, and goes up to the grip like that. So that's more smooth, but you know, you know what I mean. This, it goes, ah, oh, you know what? Screw you, Apple. I don't care about you. I know I can smell apple. Uh, JK. Um, go see the grip and out. So, I, I like the system more. I uh, guess that's it for the chaos, honestly. Probably would die for a review here in a minute. So, goodbye.